12 outstanding chefs from across the globe were invited to Colombo to meet tea maker and Dilmar founder Meryl J. Fernando. My name is Peter Curavita and I run Flying Fish Restaurant in Sydney. So very slowly grows like a like a fire. I need a, I need now a tiger beer. <laughs> you got some good stuff. <coughs> oh, here. I need water. water is also good. I'm just trying to set all these guys on fire. Well, Sri Lanka is my second home, so um, it's always good to come back to Sri Lanka. Sri Lankan food has always been a passion of mine. You can curry anything, basically, and that's I think that's the, the motto of the Sri Lankans. You can curry anything. It's one of those uh, cuisines which uses up to 15 to 20 spices, but keeping the base product shining through it all. We went to Nagumbo and cooked at the fish markets. We went to Uduwalawe National Park and saw herds of elephants and crocodiles and camped out. That was fantastic. We stayed in a place called Galpitia, which means stony place. We went to a papadam factory. But before we actually got to see the factory work, we probably enjoyed the best and most sumptuous meal we've had on the whole tour. It was pretty amazing to have 12 chefs and a tea sommelier traveling on this tour. 1,200 kilometers we did, and for them to all come together during that period and really have one thing in common. I grabbed Frank, one of the chefs, and headed off into Candy for a bit of a look around. I remember this man who had a jewelry shop that had this amazing henna beard. It's just nice to grab someone and say, hey, let me show you a town that I know really well, and that was good fun, really, really good fun. Tea and food are very similar things, especially in the way it's produced. I mean, there's passion that goes into tea. Sometimes you use the tea to enhance the food, other times you use the food to complement the tea. But together there needs to be a real balance between the two and neither should really be predominant. There's 12 chefs here who have all been given the same tea and it's like old days cooking where seasonally artichokes would be available, everyone had to cook artichokes and the challenge here is to use the same teas between all of us and come up with different dishes. The name of my dish is seared yellowfin tuna with sweet pork crackling and green hyacinth tea. I steam the pork for 45 minutes. I roast the pork so that it goes crisp. I clean the tuna. When I thought about taking a dish and then adding tea to it, it was quite hard until I started looking at the teas and using the green tea, I incorporated it into the crust and I actually found that what it did was aesthetically gave it a different look because the chilli salt normally goes a nice red glow so it had the little bit of green flecks through it. And flavour wise, kind of blended in, there was a little bit of smokiness that came through. I segment the grapefruit. I place three slices of pork on the bottom, followed by one segment of grapefruit, followed by one piece of tuna, and then finally finished off with a piece of crackling and surrounded by the sauce. Log on to the Dilmar website to find the chef's recipes, plus more.